Hey, this is Gary Kay. We're at ISE 2018. You're going to want to stay tuned and watch this whole thing because we're going to do a booth tour. And you can't get this kind of tour unless you're actually here at the show. So this is the next best thing to being here at the show. Gavin Downey's agreed to do it, senior product manager here at Epson. Uh, Gavin, tell me what we're looking at here behind us. Uh, what, what are we seeing? Thanks, Gary. What we're seeing here are six Pro-L 25,000 uh, projectors suspended and rigged with Lang frames uh, projecting onto a fairly massive uh, three-dimensional surface. So you'll notice that it's uh, mapped, it's curved, and it comes all the way down to the ground. So uh, really impactful imagery. It's collected a lot of interest here so far at the show. Yeah, and it's probably, I'm going to say 20, 25 feet tall by 30, 35 feet, maybe 40 feet wide. It's curved at the bottom. Uh, it's to show the image mapping capabilities. But, it, you know, obviously the people here watching it aren't looking at the projection technology. They're looking at the experience and the story that you're able to tell here. That's right. And that's the key. Right? That's right. It's about a, uh, a young girl and uh, experiencing uh, different chapters in a book. So it's not really running right now. This is sort of a static image, yeah. but it's really dynamic with uh, strong audio and, and amazing visuals. Yeah, it's an it's an immersive experience, which is what you're trying to get with a, I mean, large venue product, obviously that's what you're trying to do is get an immersive experience, that's not right. necessarily sell a piece of hardware, because that's, right. that's that's where you're going to be successful. The first thing we see when we come in the booth here is your, uh, not only your short throw mm -hmm. uh, products, which have become famous because of your, your, um, your, uh, your Brightlink Pro product That's category, right. but also your sort of line of products representing each product category that you sell, right? That's right, that's right. So everything from uh, single lamp projectors to meeting room projectors, um, all the way over to home theater projectors. And in each one of those categories, uh, Epson is a market share leader. And I have an Epson home theater projector, and in my classroom at UNC, well, at the University of North Carolina, we use a, uh, a, a education projector, I guess you'd say, a meeting room projector. Oh, fantastic. Uh, as well. Um, but of course, the projector hanging from the, the, the ceiling up there, that's a laser projector, um, short throw laser that's used, and you're showing you a signage example, that's but that's right. also the kind of product that you're using in the, in the Brightlink Pro as well now. That's right. We're really uh, expanding that line. Uh, so we've introduced laser technology to our ultra short throw line, and we've introduced WUXGA. So when you really look at uh, WUXGA ultra short throw, 4,000 lumens, it's an incredibly bright, vibrant picture. Um, with all the benefits of ultra short throw and interactivity for our corporate clients. Right, we're going to make our way over here to one of the uh, biggest innovations in rental staging in a long time that kind of shocked everybody at Infocom, uh, which is your uh, 15,000. We did a separate video on this, uh, so you can watch a video of all of our product categories, uh, all the different products that Epson launched here by just going to Epson in the video search window. But that is a 15,000 lumen projector. But the key thing is it's running on, it's 4K compatible, That's but right. it's running on only 115 volts. That's right. So it's 15,000 lumens, a very compact cabinet, and it runs off of a standard 115 volt uh, power supply. So incredibly bright. Many of the projectors in that category uh, require 208. So um, really very flexible in terms of where you can uh, where you can install it. It's also being shown with a brand new X02 lens. So ultra short throw, uh, 0.35 throw. You can get incredibly large images very close to the screen. Yeah, and that's what that's what you're seeing here is the fact that you have the short throw lens there, and you have of course a, a family of lenses that allow you to throw light. What's the longest ratio? Oh, something like nine to one. Right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I think something. It's, yeah, a little bit longer than that yeah. actually. Yeah. Okay. All right, then we have our, uh, if we flip around here behind us, we've got a little demo of uh, an AR capability, right. which I'm a big fan of the Mavero glasses yep. um, and the application there for AR. Tell us what we're looking at here. What are you showing in the booth? So what we're really showing in the booth is um, we, have a, we have a great relationship with uh, drone manufacturers, and we also announced an SDK here at I ISC. So, uh, Mavero? Exactly, for, for Mavero uh, AR glasses. So um, developers can develop on the platform and create new and innovative ways of leveraging the technology. Okay. This is the coolest thing that I've seen on the show floor so far. So we're going to step over here. I'm going to kind of keep you in suspense here. You're going to want to see this because it's not often that you see uh, someone uh, come out with a product in a different form factor that's exciting. Uh, but this new product's called Light Scene. So first I want you to, well actually why don't you show this one here 
uh, the static one that's in the in the case here. So that that fits on a standard uh, lighting track system that you'd find in a lot of retail establishments, and and it and in a way it's it's re, uh, aimed a lot at retail. And in fact, if you look at the demo they have running here for Light Scene, the product's called Light Scene, you'll see that they're sort of running a retail demo application, right? That's right. We're running a couple of different uh, applications here. So we have one for hospitality, where it's uh, at a at a bar, for instance, where it senses when the glass is picked up and can provide information about the drink or just the ambiance. And then we have another uh, another demonstration where it's a retail demonstration. And they have, we, we have one that's focused on fitness, actually, where you can select different scenes that you're cycling through on a uh, on a on a spinning cycle. Yeah, and, and, and what you're doing is all of that is projected by individual light scene projectors. And in fact, you're, you're mapping some of them together here on the, on the retail uh, scene that we'll show you in just a second. But in fact, in that bar scene, where, where if you don't mind uh, showing that bar scene again from overhead, that bar scene. So that's coming, all three of those are coming from one projector. Um, right above it. So if you look at the one projector right above it, it's actually image mapping those three circles there. Those, those little uh, pads that they're putting the drinks on have an RFID sensor. That's right. I guess it's a weight sensor of something? That's right. It's a weight sensor. So it can tell when the uh, drink is picked up and put down, and then the content uh, reacts to that. Yeah, and, and the cool thing here is you're showing an application, not just showing the product. That's right. Right. Putting it in context. So um, we're really working with the creative communities and the production communities to find out new ways of creating either uh, information or experiential uh, uh, use for this type of technology. And, and of course a lot of retail applications have this track lighting system. Mm -hmm. If you step, if you kind of step back and look at that uh, swimming, it's, I guess this would be sort of like in a sports store and you're sort of adding and enhancing the value proposition uh, through sort of like virtual digital signage everywhere. Exactly, it's really putting the, the product in context so helping people understand more about it from a distance and even up close in terms of information. This is awesome. This is going to be big. So remember this uh, light scene product. Uh, it's 2000 Ansel Lumens WXJ resolution. Did I get that right? Yep. And I'm sure there'll be other iterations. And this is laser as well. Absolutely. It's got sealed optics, so it's great for uh, different environments where it yep. might be dusty. It's very compact. Bars. Absolutely. Where they're smoking or whatever. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So th this is going to be big. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of this. All right, so we're going to head on over here. Obviously, uh, one of the problems we run into doing a, ch a show tour during a show is that you got people in the way, yeah, but we can't ask them to leave because they're customers. It, it's, a, it's a great <laughs> it just, show for us. It's sort of like a, uh, yeah, so here's the Brightlink uh, section. If we're going to walk by here real quick and look at the Brightlink section here. And uh, of course, the Brightlink started as an education only product and has moved into the corporate market with the new model. Absolutely. So the, the corporate models, the 1470 that we're showing here, is really uh, sort of uh, geared towards collaboration. So you can, uh, you can collaborate with multimedia, with files, uh, using touch or a pen. You can actually capture those, uh, all the assets from that session and email them to the people that participated in it. So it's a great collaborative tool for corporate corporations. Yeah, and what's nice about it is it's wireless connectivity, uh, it's whiteboarding, annotation. I mean, everything you'd want to do in a collaboration board environment, you can do with projection. And the advantage here is you'll notice you're not limited by size. You're not you're not stuck with a 55-inch or a 70-inch board. You can go as, almost as big as you want to go. Absolutely. Uh, and with the new models, you can actually uh, mount them next to each other and get 200-inch screens side by side for a 200-inch work surface. Yeah, it's like a big digital canvas, That's as right. I described it in my presentations. So we're going to go on down here, down to the end of the booth here, and uh, this is the new uh, this is the new 12,000 native 4K projector. This is a new 20,000 uh, lumen WUXGA. So we're actually mapping uh, from a 15,000 lumen uh, suspended in a Lang frame okay. to show you a little bit about the uh, optical engine. But this is a brand new platform for us here at Epson. So what you're sh what you're seeing is 20,000 lumens. It's got um, it's got slots for interfaces, so you can actually change the interfaces and configure it uh, however you'd like to configure it for configure it for fixed install or for rental and staging. If for some reason a port is damaged, you can quickly slide the uh, input uh, board out and put a new one in. And one of the interesting things about when you guys launched in a large venue category, you made a big deal about how your lenses were already 
uh, 4K ready, meaning mm -hmm. they were 4K lenses. That's not right. you're not adapting lenses. So everything that they've invested in so far, they can use with this, these new these new projectors. Right? That's right. You raise a really important point. These new projectors will work with our lensing that we've had out with our our single lamp projector, the Pro G7s, yeah. and all the Pro L. So a lot of our customers have an inventory of lenses, and they will work with these new projectors. So what you see here is sealed optics. Um, it has it comes with a, a new software suite called Epson Perfect professional projector tool, which allows you to manage up to 50 projectors using a GUI, like a graphical user interface. So we're not only introducing new hardware solutions, but software solutions that make it very, very easy to use these projectors for live events. One last thing I want to make sure we get a chance to see is the native 4K projector. Absolutely. Over there. So if we're going to head over there, uh, that's where the, we've got a crowd of people sitting around there. Um, we're going to have I'm going to let uh, Kirsten go over there and shoot it closer. We're going to stay back here where there's okay, try not to crowd it. So the specs on that is uh, 12,000 ANSI lumens, but native 4K, 3840 by 2160. That's your first native 4K product. Right? It is. It's our first native 4K product. Very very excited to launch it in the rental and staging and live events sort of large venue segment. You're seeing it with an XO2 uh, ultra short throw lens, so uh, native 4K ultra short throw, 12,000 laser lumen. So really exciting, innovative products. And if, if people who are watching notice that that's the same short throw lens you were showing with the 15,000. 150 volt projector, so it's truly everything's compatible with everything else. That's right. I, I don't know about everything, but it works with the 12,000 lumen, 15,000 lumen, now 20,000 lumen, and native 4K with 12,000 lumen. So, yeah, well, yeah very broad. That's a broad uh, line, which is that's key. Right. If you're a rental staging company, you don't want to have to change your lenses uh, every time you change projectors because that's a big chunk of, of money if you're having to do that every single time. Uh, I appreciate you doing this tour. Uh, congratulations on everything. I'm excited to see where all this uh, fits in. Uh, of course, everybody's been waiting for native 4K from the, th the 3LCD leader. I mean, you sort of are the bellwether for what everyone else ends up doing. So I think that we'll see the market obviously move to, to 4K pr pretty quickly, but there's still going to be a big place in both uh, rental staging and in permanent, permanent install for 1080 and for WXGA and Absolutely. WXGA for a while. So we've got the very high end and we got everything else. Uh, do you agree with that? Yeah, it's an exciting time for us and I think it's it's the right time to come out with native 4K in uh, high brightness, large venue. I mean, we're starting to see content. Um, we're starting to see cameras, content distribution. Um, people are looking for new solutions and I think this is a great time for us to come out with it. Of course, you can see we're going to shoot individual videos on every product here with more detail. Um, so you can go to the uh, video search window on our website and type in Epson, E-P-S-O-N. You can see all the coverage from ISE, including all the stuff we're shooting here at ISE 2018 at ravepubs.com slash ISE 2018. Thanks for joining us, Gavin. Thank you very much. Thanks, Gary. Thanks so much.